Okay, I'm not fully awake for this. Hello, everyone. This is Dark Prophet 12. And today, yes, this is going to be one of those uh those reactions where I haven't had a cup of coffee and I am going to be leaving very soon for work. So I pretty much jumped right out of bed and jumped in the seat. So I'm not at 100% capacity yet. My engine's still starting up. <laughs> um, that's okay. Because we've got Fable's new Aaron Yeager rap, Let It All Burn, uh, to listen to. And it's an Attack on Titan song. So you know it's going to be hard. You know that there's going to be a lot of energy. I partially expect this to be similar in vain to, like, his Inosuke track, The Demon to a Ghost. Or maybe, uh, Worst. Which is uh his uh his Jujutsu Kaisen song for for um the sorcerer guy that eat the fingers and get the powers. I can't remember his name is. Um like I said, half awake right now. So let's let Fable kick me in the ass and jumpstart my day. Um I'm gonna stop talking about this intro right now. If you want to see this without my commentary. Links will be in the description below. Go check it out. Go support this man. Run it up. Show him some love. And while you're down there, don't mind doing the same for me. I greatly appreciate it because that way I know what you guys want to see. Uh, and it helps me uh, filter out what other, uh, what other things I can do for the channel. Um, I am babbling now. We're starting. I didn't know where he was going with that because the very first thing that I thought was actually was very similar to his Jinx track, just in the energy. Is that is is that what we're going for here? Is is it going to be similar to the Jinx track with like tragedy fueling pain, fueling power, fuel, fueling passion? Because if so, then I'm all for it because that was one of my favorite tracks that Fable released last year. That's what this is reminding me of right now. Out of every other song that he, I could have potentially pegged it on, I was not expecting his Jinx track to be the one that this sounds the most like. And I am okay with that. That is, that is perfectly fine. Like I said, that is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite song from Fable in 2021. As indicated by the music video that I made for, for it, which I still need to update. Because I said I was going to do that. Anyway. Um... The passion that he puts in his voice when it comes to these particular songs is, it's not quantifiable. It is not comparable to anybody else. There is nobody else in Nerdcore and very few people that I can think of in mainstream music, like the, that you'd hear on the radio, that can convey their emotions or convey the emotions of a character the way Fable can in his lyrics. Like, I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. Maybe that's just because my, my brain hasn't fully jump-started yet, but off the top of my head, whenever I think this is, this is like on another level of intensity and passion and pain, Fable 
is usually the first person I think of. And it's songs like this that really drive that point home. Also, before we uh, get into, I'm assuming the next uh, verse, J-Up has, it, just talking about the, the animation that we've got going on over everything else, J-Up has really, like, escalated his level to a whole nother degree in the last year. Uh, anytime that I see any video that has J-Up as, as the animator, um or the editor, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it animator, because that's clearly what's going on here. He may not have created the footage for Attack on Titan, but, oh boy, has he done so much with it. Um, anytime you see J-Up on a video, you know that is going to be, like, top-tier, freaking platinum standard visual effects. And it makes me a little jealous, because, obviously, I know how to edit videos to a certain extent, but I can't do anything like that. I don't even know how you do stuff like that. I don't know how you create that kind of, uh, that kind of like, that. <laughs> that is just, uh, I can't wrap my head around it. I don't know how it's physically possible, but he does it consistently. He does it almost, and he's not the only one too. Nikta does, uh, does a fantastic job as well, but like when I see Jay up, I get excited to see the video. Like, not just to hear the music, but to see the video. Nick, did, to the same degree, does the, uh, does the makes me just as excited, but not as much as Jaya. I don't know what it is that he does, but I don't know what program he's using, what art classes he went to, what he has in his toolbox, but, I mean, just, I'm going to keep playing the video. Just watch the effects if you haven't been paying attention to them. Listen to the music that Fable is bringing you and watch the effects that are going along with it. Okay, that was a switch. That's the only damn model with me through life from the blame on the stage yeah. to the spiral. I've been ahead of the shit. Put every head on my list. If I don't like you, turn to a kaiju. Cause shit's one hell of a gift. Y'all just keep making me say. Still got no rhyme and no reason. Turn to turn me to a demon. Got nobody to believe in. Yeah. I just might lose my mind. Something about that rhyme scheme seems familiar. Like Fable used it in a different video. I can't remember which one though. The moment I heard Kaiju, like from that point on, uh, up until this this next part that we're getting into, like everything in there, it was, it wasn't like it was taken from another song. It just feels like it was uh, adapted for this one, which is never a problem. It just, uh, you know, that's that's a little funny Easter egg that you can uh, that like fans can pick out. But I listen to Fable like on repeat continuously when I play uh, like Halo and and my Gundam game and stuff like that. So like. I've heard all of his songs literally hundreds of times um, just in the background. And when I s hear like similar things between songs, I can immediately recognize them. And that right there, it felt very familiar. I don't know why, but I'll need to like listen to some of the songs that I think it might be like inspired by or taken from in order to figure out which one it is. But I'm almost positive I heard that section before. I'm going to listen to it again. Maybe I can point it out um, on the second listen to. I've been ahead of the shit. Put every head on my list. If I don't like you, turn to a kaiju. This shit's one hell of a gift. Y'all just keep making me say. Still got no rhyme and no reason. Turn to turn me to a demon. Got nobody to believe in. I just might lose my... Yeah, so that, especially right where he's a turn, uh, turn me into a demon, like, just, that just feels very familiar to me. But I still can't place what song I heard it from. But again, it's not like that's a bad thing to, to catch familiarity like that. It's just, it's stuck out to me, you know? Oh, 
take what's mine I'm gonna take you off for a ride Yeah, I need it Something you'll learn Fuck what you heard You're just a herd Shit is absurd Nothing to earn You're not concerned Give you my word You get a bird You get a bird You'll be left to walk this world alone You should know I'm never coming home Held my tongue and I waited my turn Now it's fun Those vocals without the instrumental. Another masterpiece. As I'm thinking about it, I think the song that it reminds me of is one of his Naruto tracks. I could be wrong about that. It, I probably am wrong about that, but regardless, I was what I was expecting. I think the reason why I, I thought that was because of the fact that it reminded me, like that second uh, bit. The first bit reminded me of his Jinx song. The second bit, when he got into the like the actual rap, reminded me of uh one or two of his Naruto songs, and that's okay because, like I said. I, my Naruto, his Naruto songs are some of my favorite. So, uh, like, just the energy and the way he was flowing, it just reminded me of the Naruto song. So I, maybe one of the Naruto songs has something that, that references kaiju and demons, and it has a similar rhyme, rhyme scheme to that particular section. Um, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Makes me want to go back and rewatch Attack on Titan. I still need to finish season four, but I kind of already had it spoiled for me, so that's why I hadn't finished it. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was that was phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> that definitely woke me up a lot more than I was expecting it to, which is good because I needed it because I have to get to work. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Thank you for joining me. Like I said, link in the description below if you really want to uh, listen to this without my commentary. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this as well. Thank you for joining me. This is Archive 12, and I shall see you in the next video.